Hey there everyone, I'm Dust Bunny Avenger, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Slackers in the Cover. If you like what you see, don't forget to slap that like button, bash that big old subscribe button, and tickle that little bell icon to make sure you never miss out on any of the awesome. What's up everyone, Dust Bunny Avenger here from Slackers in the Cover. Today we're taking a first look at Nova Drift, a tough as nail space combat game with just the right dash of action RPG. You know, it's reminiscent of Asteroids. You remember Asteroids, the old arcade classic. You spin your little ship, you thrust here and there, you shoot things before they hit you. You use a trackball, which... <laughs> why, 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 why was the trackball ever a good idea? What's wrong with you guys? Anyway, this ain't your daddy's Asteroids. We're talking missile salvos, grenades, railguns, shotguns, flak cannons, and so many more your head will explode. You ever fancy yourself a commander? Squad up, soldier. You got your own private drone army. Treat them right, and they'll seek and destroy. The sheer potential available is overwhelming. There's the combinations, the limitless synergies, the mods, the unlockables. Developer Chimeric's ambitious. This isn't just one of those one-and-done types of releases. Nah, Nova Drift, Evolve, Survive, Dominate. That's not just their tagline, that is their game plan. And who doesn't like being prepared? Look at that cheat. Just look at it. New modes, new items, new challenges. I can't wait to see what else is going to be added, but, you know, let's get to it and see what it has to offer right now. Right, let's get into it. Games. Okay, actually, what's unlocks? Oh my. Oh my, that is a lot of things to unlock. Features, hyper boost. Hyperboost orbs now drop from enemy cargo crates, uh, enemy cargo trains, a couple of things I've already unlocked from playing it. Challenge modes, a lot, you got a little, oh, oh my, look at all them locks, all these potential synergy layouts and stuff, and honestly, probably so many more, look at them, okay, we got mod trees that aren't even unlocked yet. Last thing I think I unlocked was stabilization. Ability to stabilize momentum on command, low velocities, uh, increased rotation speed, power reserves, uh, strafe, ability to quick, quickly dart forward or laterally once every second. So we got a dodge, a dodge ability. Nice. All right, uh, back out of here. Play the game. Let's let's do the feud. All right. Um, I've got danger zone turned on. It uh, like it says, waves advance faster, enemies another frame more frequently. That way. We can get a couple runs in and get, you know, more of a fat, <laughs> a better view of, of everything available and stuff. Unless, uh, after the final battle, the game continues until you're destroyed. So it just keeps going. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And you get stronger, they get stronger. Good times had by all. It looks like the more things you turn on, also, by the way, you actually uh, get score bonus and experience bonus. There is a high score at the end. So, I mean... Let's go. Woo, I forgot it was it was it was W A S D. Well, no arrow keys and S. Controller support? I'm not sure. I don't usually use controllers, so it's like one of those questions that I should ask. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll 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 look it up and I'll add it in the description below if there's any additional information on that front, as well as uh, links to all the usual places. Price is $14.99 as of currently on Steam. Don't don't run into that asteroid boy. Don't do it. Okay, we, we gotta get a new weapon upgraded. Alright, we have the ability to take a vortex. Charge up and release a slow moving rolling vortex. Enemies are drawn to the vortex, receive burn damage, ignites enemies for 30 burning damage, uh, a second for three seconds. Let's get a pulse which is short range electromagnetic burst. Create a short range powerful electromagnetic burst. Closer targets take double damage. Ooh. Fires secondary projectiles at 240. I want to try the vortex. That sounds really cool. Um, when charging, you take ramping hull burn damage. So there is a. It's a bad thing to it. But, okay. Oh, okay. I gotta be careful with this one. Cool, though. Maybe it's not one of those things you want to take. Oh, I could. Oh my gosh! I can just charge it up forever, but uh, it, it burns me so fast. 
All right, um, hull recovery rate plus 15% for the hull breaker. Crashed into enemies at boosted by high speed. Penetrate enemies' defenses destroyed by crashing. Okay, Sentinel. Uh, shield resistance, shield effect ready, shield power, and rate of fire, projectile speed. Okay, um, let's do... I'll move this mouse out of the way, sorry. Uh, this, because it curr currently we're hurting ourselves as we attack, so... We need, so... We're, we're actually real hurt right now. Way to start, bunny. Show off an item that hurts you real bad. So we're gonna need some sort of healing. Uh, shield warp and destroy the shield teleport to a distance equal to the shield effect radius. Interesting. Halo. Slowly drains uh, shield durability when contact enemies. Um, and protects you. The damage is boosted further for each threat inside. We're gonna take the warp, which should warp us out of uh, damage. So it just keeps going. It gets, does it get? It does get smaller. That's awesome. We need regen. Uh, improves passive regen. Hull regen runs to rate proportional to maximum hull. Okay, so that is also good. Let's do regen. Yes, it's pretty cool, but uh, I think we're gonna die. Burn myself with this, bro. Where, where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm bouncing around over here. Darn you, I'm bad at figuring out my way whenever the screens. That's really cool, though. It sucks, so man. And it, it, it hurts. It hurts the heck out of me. But if we do more uh, whole regen and stuff, then we should be able to counteract that ability. Um, we can switch over that. I don't want to switch over that. Shield effect radius is good. Uh, volley, two weapon projectiles, minus 20% blast radius and total weapon damage for projectiles, 10% weapon size reduction and velocity, plus 20% weapon projectile speed. Um, adds or improved projectile targeting. Unlocks guidance and homing strength. Oh, we could get this to actually home in on things. Okay, that might be really cool for a vortex that sucks people in. Ooh, get out of here. Run away! do much damage. Um, okay, homing strike. Attack with a single weapon projectile from each of your broadsides. Homing strike projectiles are weaker but have greater. Mm. Or rapid reconstruction, you have no shield, but plus 25. <sighs> I feel like that might actually be worthwhile. Um, let's try the homing strike. Oh, it, it does additional it does additional projectiles off the side. Oh get away from me! Alright, uh, what is this? Guidance. Greatly improves projectile targeting. For magnitude, increases weapon size, weapon damage, and blast radius. That, that sounds really good. The whole strength. Ah, whole strength. Yeah, if we're hurting ourselves attacking, let's uh, get additional whole strength for now. Oh man. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage right now, but. I think if we got real close. No! He does a lot of damage. Uh, 
think I got a hyper boost, that's why I'm all shiny and stuff. They do seek to a degree. Oh, okay, our HP is super low right now. Um, hmm, velocity for weapon damage, increase, guidance, uh, improves convergence. Minus velocity and weapon projectile speed, plus per weapon projectile spread, plus two projectiles fired. We gotta get out. Oh no! We shouldn't have stood there. Okay, so what was it? Essentially a four minute run. That was it. That, that's all That's all you got. Just, you know, real quick, real fast to do. Uh, I think it was around maybe nine minutes, you know, once you pause and stuff. But add to the little high score. We're learning, we're doing new things. The score was bad that time. But I think we could have played that better. Maybe that particular thing, because it, it, the game does offer rerolls, um, which give you the ability to get all your points back and then uh, go through and use those points, just like slam, bam, just use them all at once in short, short succession to build you know, your perfect build. Uh, and yeah, I, I think maybe that, that Vortex thingy, as powerful as it is, and uh, with the issues, the uh, the deficits that come with it, maybe that's not a starting weapon, you know? Maybe we should hold off on that just a little bit. What should we do this time? Uh, pulse? Haven't tried the Pulse out yet. There's the Flak, which is essentially like a real big shotgun, and the Split Shot's like a mini shotgun. Let's try Pulse. Uh, closer targets deal take double damage. Fire secondary projectiles in a 240 degree cone, so... Oh. Yeah, so it is up close and personal. Does it destroy? Oh, dang, look at that. Dad's got some punch, man. I just kind of want to high speed through and punch people with this. So this is definitely a, a move fast and do damage. Get up in their face, kind of. I, I, I dig it, man. I dig it. Let's see what we can do. Assault body, rate of fire, weapon projectile spree. We can do sentinel, which is uh, shield damage resist, shield effect radius, and shield effect power. Minus rate of fire a little bit. That's bad. Um, the hull strength is a little less than the assault. Thrust is 140. Thrust is lower on this. Stealth. What is this? Cloaks when not firing your weapon or thrusting. Plus 20% weapon damage when breaking cloak. Larger, hotter thrusters burn targets. Hmm, I need more thrust. I think I'm going to go Sentinel for the damage defense. Oh, and we leveled up a couple times, I guess. Um, reflect. Reflects enemy weapon only with boosted power. Interesting. Yeah, let's go with that. Holy moly, that's a big shield. And it bounces. Nice. Okay, another level up. We can do an ally, which would be great. Uh, improves your adding weapon targeting. I wonder if we can have weapon targeting on... Hello. Interesting. Engineer. Instructs increased construct. That's interesting. Uh, let's try the targeting. I want to see if this can target. Can we have this home in on things? I don't know, but I'm interested. I think my... Okay, we're back. My, uh... I gotta get a new mic. I think my mic died for a second there. Sorry. Man, that, that is... I like it because it covers on the sides, too, a little bit as well. Uh, whole strength, shield cooldown, 20% faster cooldown. Uh, we've got increased rate of fire velocity and weapon damage. Or I kind of want to keep on going down the guidance path because I want to know if these will hold. It doesn't sound like it will. Also, uh, if we... Oh wow, that did so much damage to that guy. Holy moly. Alright, uh, 
official cooldown conversions. Plus two projectiles fired. I died. <laughs> Maybe standing next to the enemies isn't my cup of tea. Maybe I should stick with uh, ranged attacks. Wow, I'm doing worse and worse. How's that working out for me? I know while well, it was a bad score anyways. Who cares about bad scores? We're just going to do as we want, as we will. Yeah, I, I, I'm having a heck, a heck of a good time with this game. It's fun. I like things that you can kind of pick and choose how you do. Now, there is a little bit of, like, worry that, you know, you're going to find some Omega combination and then you're just never going to use anything other than that. Kind of like when you play like, a Binding of Isaac game or something and, like, you always want Brimstone because Brimstone's amazing. And, you know, maybe that'll just be what you, you go in the game with from now on. But, you know, it seems like anything can be good in the right hands. Yeah, Salvo is so good, but I think we need to build uh, maybe fire rate, maybe damage, maybe not gotten into so splinter, splintery as we did. Uh, I want to try railgun. There's vortex again. I don't want vortex. I'm gonna try all my all my rolls and see if I can get railgun. There we go, railgun. Bam. High damage. Very high damage. Holy moly. Uh, stealth. Pull strength 100. Assault fire rate, weapon projectile spree, uh, minus projectile spread. That's a good thing. Especially if you're shooting. Uh, yeah, let's do less pro projectile spread if we can help it. Uh, amp is active, plus 20% thrust and total weapon damage. A little fragile. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let, let's go. Let's go ham on this. So. This is railgun and is gonna be real strong. Oh, you're using you're using that on me now. Don't don't you do it. Oh, I didn't take that many to push through you. No, don't run into it. Okay, our health and everything is real low. Um, volley might be good for us. Uh, velocity, maybe. Shield effect might be good. Increase shield effect radius. Shield effect powers, that would mean it would do a 22% damage increase, or just overall hold strength, which would also be a guarantee. I think being able to have more than just a single shot would probably... No! Story of my life. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push that. We're... Golly. Go on, I'm putting DBA. Look, at it. it means Dust Bunny Avenger. That, that's what it means. That's what I'm going with. Alright. Take... 25 thrust thrusting into it that that's a good that's a solid move way to go dude way to go all right we got salvo vortex railgun okay we 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 can We can bring ourselves back from the brink. Probably should move to dodge these things, but I don't really want to because I want to survive. Hullbreaker, minus shield durability, minus rate of fire. Mm, crash resistance for whole damage is pretty good, actually. Stealth, let's take stealth now. Let's just do. If we come out of stealth, we, we do a lot more damage. Interesting. Oh, don't, don't, oh, it killed him.
singularity detected. What? That's a thing? Don't, 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 don't. Um, Halo, Reflect, Reflect sounds good. Anything that's uh, reflected does 900% more damage. And it's actually got the most uh, durability too. Uh, homing, I think a homing railgun would be great. It's super strong already, so if we can get that, that would be grand. So you want to get like a... Come on. He he help, a, help a guy out, man. Help a guy out. There we go. Targeting. Projectile targeting. That's what I want to see. It's a super powerful ability already. We have the ability to shoot it near enough near an enemy. And have it find itself a target. That'd be great. Alright. Oh. Virgins. Uh, further improves weapon targeting. I could do this one, which would give us... Homing strike projectiles are weak, but I have greatly... A single weapon projectile from each of your broadsides, or I could do convergence. Uh, the homing strike gives us the actual homing strike, so I also have another one. Nice. Um, blast radius, magnitude, increased overall damage. That's. Oh my gosh, the railgun homes. Holy moly! It's still, it's still really powerful considering we haven't really taken too many. Up, weapons ups. This might be the one. So we've taken the 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 problem with rail guns and essentially gotten rid of the negative. And now we have super strong super homing attacks. Alright, let's, uh, rapid fire needs to go up, uh, velocity needs to increase big time as well. The faster you attack, the faster we win. I'm not saying flat out don't, uh, you aim anymore. Two levels under our belt. Ooh, that's that's tempting. But uh, let's not get let's not go crazy. Improves your passive regeneration rate. Hull regenerates at a rate proportional to hull. So positive. I want an ally though. If I can get it. Hull strength also seems great. So uh, let's take regen. We have another thing we can do. Rapid fire rate of fire increase. Sounds good. Oh, so much experience. Whoa, don't get hit by that, that hurts. Alright, uh, magnetism snipe. On impact, your projectiles deal more total damage based on their distance from you, plus weapon velocity. Interesting, and then this is calibrate your weapon calibrates over time, improving your next attack. Reduces weapon projectile speed, improves targeting, and increases total projectile velocity. Calibration resets quickly when your weapon is on cooldown. Hmm. Kind of want to take Snipe. Just because if it's doing more damage based on where we are, then we can play the field by being a little bit more on the edge. And I don't know if it, it counts by how long our weapon's traveling. Because, I mean, sometimes these are curving around, so... If that's the case, if it's if it's how... If it's curving around that does uh, additional damage or anything, that eh, could be... Oh, that could be spicy. We got another level up already. Holy moly. Everyone deals 125% damage as burning damage. It's a railgun. It's already doing crazy damage, so... Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, 
bounces you whenever you uh you take that reflect hit. We do need to increase our shield a little bit. Right, um Payload, weapon damage, weapon size, blast radius, minus rate of fire. Uh, when you stop taking rate of fire decreases, but Look at that giant experience over there, gum that me experience. Where, where, where? Oh. I'm like off the screen a little bit. Okay. Um. Regenerative shields adds passive shield regen. Shields up, shields regen at 70% effect. Uh, with shields up, hull regenerates at 30% effect. With shields down, hull regenerates at 100% effect. So, your hull regenerates a little bit slower, but your shields regenerate faster. Interesting, you don't have no shield. Ouch. It also removes all shield mods from the upgrade pool, but that's not a bad thing. That could potentially be great. Oh, but projectile size and count the number of splinters. Uh, that, the pit homes, I, I gotta try it, I gotta try it. Even homes. Oh my gosh, what have we made? When it pops. Does so little damage. Yeah, you know, we're breaking the, the weak points though. We're already doing better than we did last time. I'm gonna take a hit because I want to bounce it back. It is bouncing inside, which is pretty cool. And that's hitting the weak point, so it's not... It's doing less damage overall, but it is doing more damage based on... I really hate I really hate standing here and taking hits, but our, our thrust ain't great. We just need to keep firing in. We get for building like this, but if we can get through this, then it will be will be set. She did some uh, decent damage reflecting those shots back. Please break one of those things. I think we're getting less shots that we have, uh... Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Bam! Oh, get all that beautiful experience. Alright. See what we can do from here. Blast radius, maybe charge shot. Might be worth it. Um, minus percent thrust while charging, though. Ouch. Shield effect radius. Uh, rapid fire. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, oh my. So we got a little bit of a delay between shots. But, oof. That railgun still hits like a ever-loving truck. 
We're gonna hit this mine, I don't wanna do that, but... Take me away! Oh no! Something just flew by me and just t t almost toasted me. Okay. Uh, shield cooldown. So we reroll, regain all spent, lose all mods, and reset gear. Which. Is there anything in here that we wouldn't would have liked to take because of where we were? I. Me. Eh, incendiary does do good still. Uh, ally. Shield durability. Not a bad case. Uh, plus thrust, getting ability to stabilize your momentum on command, which would be cool, don't get me wrong. Shield cooldown is also... Let's take shield durability. Don't run into it. Funny. Get, get your friend, buddy. Funny. Get your brain on straight. Get your brain on straight, buddy. Okay. Um... Reflective shield, whenever you take a hit to your shield, it discharges enemy, uh, damaging in, uh, energy in the direction of the offender. How is that rapid reconstruction? What is this? Siege weaponry. Your total rate of fire increases each time you fire consecutively. You take ramping hull damage when you fire a weapon. Mm, but it could be so good, we have homing. I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it works with the... Stuff we have. I, I guess it'd be the same thing I'm doing now, but now if I hold it down X amount of time, we take more and more hold damage, but it keeps firing faster and faster and faster. Oh my gosh, I almost killed myself. Boss, essentially. Okay, what are we doing? Um, whole strength plus twenty percent. I like the idea of that. Barrier. While well, shields are up, total damage can I see thirty-five percent of your maximum shield durability? Mm. Uh, whole strength. Uh, that seems like a good call. holding out my fire now. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, volley plus two minus 20% blast radius uh, and total weapon damage for projectiles. Mm, so we lose damage, but we gain additional projectiles which are also homing, so... Weapon ability. Ah! Don't suck. Don't suck me, bro. No! Oh, 
don't don't shoot don't run into the mines man okay upgrade let's go uh focus fire for, uh, minus 40 percent total weapon projectile spread which means they're gonna be closer together further improves weapon targeting uh increases spread but increases targeting Increased total damage and blast radius for central projectile, plus size, plus spread. Um, let's do this one. Increases spread, but increases targeting. It doesn't sound... Ooh, but... Just rapid fire the heck. No! Monster! crazy right now uh chilled cool down blast radius there's not a there's no bad thing to blast radius so burn some hole to just clear the map and then get some experience Oh my word. Hey, you. Woo! Gosh, the blast radius in this that's that's obscene. Okay, um shield cooldown. Yeah, it might be a good time to take that now. That knockback with railgun. Oh my gosh. Experience. Oh no! Don't 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 eat my shield, please. Okay, we gotta we gotta level up. Warpath. Gain a war stack whenever you defeat an enemy. 0.75% total rate of fire and thrust for each stack up to 30%. Nice. High explosive plus 20% blast radius. Uh, minus shield durability. That's a bit scary. Let's take the high explosive for the blast radius increase. This was the first boss, wasn't it? Now it's just a basic enemy. That doesn't level us up when we kill it. That that's cool. No, don't run into things you don't want to run into. Singularity detected. Oh no. Singularity and a boss at the same time. That's no that's no well. Wait, did it actually kill the singularity? I'm, I'm oh these are giant mines. It's shooting bombs. Rapid fire, my friends. We are 
killing the weak points. I guess they're weak points. Give me those. Give me that experience, my friend. We're getting rid of the lasers that it's shooting, which is good. Good. Holy. Oh, maybe it's not a good thing. Laser rail gun. Run away. Don't, 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 don't. Nice, another boss down. Whatever the heck that scare that thing is that thing's scary. Get out of here. We got absorption, reduce health, uh, health, reduce hold damage taken from hits by three, providing protection against rapid life damage. That sounds uh, amazing. Shield breaks discharges violently. Uh, another al an ally would be good too. Quite honestly, good hold strength and decent you know, twenty damage isn't a lot, but I'll save you a hold. Uh, oh, wrong button. Nice. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of things firing right now. My gosh. What we got here the war path. We can get increased damage based on total blast damage versus blast radius. Uh. Yeah. Let's take. Take that warpath. I mean, we're, we're we're killing enemies pretty fast, so damage increase for that should be fantastic. Oh my, we're we're ripping things to shreds. There's our famous old boss there. We're ramping hold damage things that uh that one perk we had before. We can usually take like one or two or three pretty quick without any issues, so as long as we're careful. There you go, there's your singularity. We'll let the homing take care of it while we just focus on getting away. Don't you? That that that, that would have been bad. Rupture. Enemies rupture when destroyed, dealing damage on blast radius. Rupture damage equal to three percent of the enemy's maximum pulse strength. Hmm. So the more we do damage to good, to strong enemies, the more damage we do to things. Oh, that means actually we can kill these guys that have parts. Oh, don't 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 drive through that. I did not expect to get as far as we are getting right now. Alright, uh, focus fire, reduced spread might be great, let's see. 
calibrate your weapon calibers over time, improving your next attack. Might be good, actually. Don't we have incendiary strike? We didn't we didn't have incendiary strike before. Did we? I No, we do have incendiary strike. Hmm, okay. Focus fire it is. Oh, yeah, check that out. Thing. Active God. Monster, why, why, why are you pushing me? You got to stop. So many enemies. <laughs> oh, you're 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 fancy looking. Uh, fusillade, double base weapon projectiles. Plus twenty percent weapon projectile speed, minus blast radius, total damage. But double whatever the projectiles are right now. That 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 seems great. Oh my. Doing so little oh, that's not good. You're giving me a lot of experience. That's probably a sign that. Don't drive into it. That looks like a whole crasher. Charge your shield. Charge your shield. Charge your shield. Some life choices. Where everything is. Okay. What can we do here? Um. Plus 15% total damage and blast radius for the central projectile in your volley. Plus 30% total size for the central projectile in your volley. Hmm. Uh, I mean... Yay? Is this worthwhile? I'm kind of tempted to do a rebirth and just start from scratch. But I mean... It's not that we're not surviving. We are surviving. Um, this might be the thing to take. The singular strike. Increased total damage and blast radius. Uh, plus size percentage projectile. Increased projectile speed. That... Oh, 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 oh. 
Got so much shield recharge. Dodging the hits, keep killing the mobs, we'll be okay. Okay, we've taken too long and now we're getting um, normal mob spawns in the boss. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's gonna hurt. Luckily we got Rupture, and Rupture seems to do a lot of damage for us as well. Oh, we're... Alright, what can we do? Uh, calibrate. Good. Alternative... Alternative... Regenerative Shields. We said that it reduces our HP gain. Um... Mm, reduces our HP gain based on... If our shields are up, calibrate. Let's reroll. What do we got? We're, we're getting the same things over and over for the most part. Are we just hitting that, that point? Plus 30% total blast damage. It's just damage up. That It's not a bad thing. Um, plus 20% shield effect radius. Plus 10% shield effect power. Uh, we currently have... 25% thrust. Reroll one more time. There's a wrap if you have no shield. That would, that would get us killed. Plus 20% faster shield cooldown, minus 4%. Yeah, that's, that's not going to help us out any at all. I think concentrated blast. Juggernaut, what is this? Uh, minus 25% thrust, but we gain 20% hull strength. Ooh, force armor, plus uh, crash damage gains 25% damage blast radius. That's all good things. That's all positive things. Uh, plus 10% 10, 10 damage resistance. We just died! What? I'm not even sure what just hit us. Oh no, I think we were low when we went into that and then he got a charge attack on us and it was over. Ah, but I think that's the best we've done so far and uh, I'm really happy that we unlocked a turret. Can you ability to assemble and deploy, uh, deploy a rapid fire machine turret? We got a uh, burn mod, plus 20% burn damage. We got an extra reroll. Body gear unlocked battery, plus three projectiles for projectile weapons. Projectiles are divided between broadside cannons. Gear added to the random pool. So added to the, the random pool. We got a lot of stuff. And what, what's our highest, what's our high score now? 120,000. Man, that is a huge upgrade over what we had. So, this is Nova Drift. And uh, I, I know I had some uh, prior information and stuff in the video uh, but let me cement all this with the additional information that I do have that uh, I didn't for some reason didn't write down because you know you, why have all of your eggs in uh, have have all your ducks in a row when you can have you know, seven out of seven out of ten all right um I'm gonna have all the information stuff in the description below it is developed by Chimeric which is a one-man army I I believe it was Jeffrey Nielsen, and I say that quizzitively because I didn't write his name down. Hang on, let me just... 
quadruple check this. I do not want. I, I, I want to make sure I give him uh, give credit, credit where credit is due. And at the same time, I get to hear hear them to continue to destroy my ship in the background, just like ha ha ha, you loss. Jeffrey Nielsen, I was correct. One man development team featuring music and audio by Miles Tillman of Pixel Jam, which is the publishing studio. It is $14.99 currently on Steam. Again, uh, all information will be in the description below, including the website posting for uh, the Nova Drift info and I believe they have a discord as well so hey I'm enjoying it so far and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll do a little bit of streaming of it here and there as well because it could be fun just to see just the randomness and what everyone can pull together and what you can get going on with the yeah, okay okay look look I know I know you're lightning you're lightning everything I understand but you're kind of taking me off the it's a fun game. Now, I would love to see where this goes. As I said prior, uh, I like things like this. It reminds me of an old Sega game, which honestly, I couldn't tell you the name even if I looked it up. Uh, it was a, a Sega game me and my uncle used to play before my uncle passed. And I just remember you ran around these little commandos. It was kind of cartoony and you had uh, two boxes and you could pick up you know, two different weapons, and the weapons would combine into each other and make one crazy weapon. And, you know, it's good memories. And this this game kind of has that, that feel to it, and, and that's what it reminds me of. So, uh, not to just go down that emotional feels trip, but it, it reminds me a lot of that game that, that me and my uncle shared, so... No, I, I miss my Uncle Wayne. And this kind of... There's good memories tied to this, even though it's a new game. It's just... It happens to share the same mechanics as something with the, the homing shots and the mixed weapons and the synergies and stuff. Just that fast-paced action shooter kind of thing. And yeah, so... Hey, I'm Dust Bunny from Slackers in the Cover. If you have any questions about it, feel free to pop into our Discord. Uh, if you want any information about anything else we're doing on the channel currently, uh, any questions at all, feel free to contact me, tweet at us. Um, I was going to say drop an email, which, yeah, I, I guess you can, even though I, I, I typically I say only if you have business, drop an email. I'm going way off the reservation, okay? Way off the reservation at this point. I, I I do try to make these as professional as possible in the beginning and towards the end, but I don't know. I'm I'm having that that sense of like I said, that little bit of emotional response here that um wasn't expecting to kind of get. So my my brain's in tatters right now. Yeah, I will talk to you folks later. Have a good one. Take care.